Pre-CAD for Power BI connects the world of BIM and the world of business intelligence, specifically using Microsoft Power BI. This connection transcends the single disciplines and opens the door for new avenues in business intelligence. With VCAT for Power BI, we can create elaborate reports and dashboards that contain fully interactable 2D and 3D models. In addition to the model, we will have access to all of the data defined in the model, which will be normalized and made available for use in the report creation. The model will be linked to the data in the report. So what we can do, for example, is make selections and queries within the report and filter out or highlight elements in the model, helping the user to really focus on the set of information they need out of the massive amount of information that can potentially be in a BIM file. We started this project because we saw the potential of all the information present in BIM files, but we also saw that it wasn't easy to obtain and to consume in a report. Our aim here is to enhance reports and offer a tool to take business intelligence and analytics to the next level. Now, we chose to integrate with uh, Power BI for a few reasons. It's of course a business intelligence tool. Uh, by now, it's an industry standard. It's uh, pretty easy to use and widespread. And also, uh, it's very easy to bring in information from external data sources in various formats. Also, uh, the reports fit in uh, into the Microsoft ecosystem, so they can be easily embedded in things like uh, PowerPoint presentations, uh, Teams meetings, uh, as well as web pages and so on. Now, uh, having a report uh, with a, an interactable BIM model in it, that's our end goal. Uh, but how do we get there? Through a fully automated process that requires no prior setup or configuration, as well as no specific steps during the creation of the BIM file. All you need is a file in a supported format. So as of now, uh, DWG, IFC, Revit, uh, soon Navis work, and then we want to follow up with other Ford supported formats. So uh, ease of use is very important to us. And we realized that setting up a report, adding a custom visual, loading in a model, it can be a bit of a pain and it's not always a straightforward operation. That's why we figured out a way to automate everything in the process. The user can simply download uh, one of the many pre-made Power BI report templates. Uh, the template will be set up with the data from the model, as well as our custom visual. And then from there, they can just uh, modify the template. Now for big clients uh, who already are doing a lot of reporting, they can actually set up their own custom templates, which will have all of the information they need. Just to explain real quick, uh, a Power BI report template is simply the starting place for creating a report. It can contain certain sets of information and some pre-configured visuals. And then from there, the template can be modified and then published when it's ready as a full report. And the nice thing of using report templates is that they're a standard tool. Uh, they make it very easy and fast to create reports and being a standard tool, there's virtually no learning curve. Odds are that uh, users already have experience or at least know of Power BI templates. This brings us to our latest development, which is uh, an integration with BIM 360. Now with VCAD for BIM 360, we're reducing the steps that are needed to get up and running with VCAD. The user can simply uh, navigate their Autodesk project, uh, select the model they wanna make some reporting on, and then download one of the uh, templates that we've set up. This integration has a few implications. Uh, for example, as you can see in the video, uh, the user logs in with their Autodesk ID. Uh, therefore, the actual visibility on the files is determined by the user's rights on the project files. Uh, also, from a security point of view, uh, the actual files are stored on BIM 360 and they never have to leave, which is, of course, very important for security reasons. Also, now we get to create reports uh, on different versions of a model. Or, for example, we can easily update old reports to the latest version of that model. And finally, we get to create reports using BIM 360 metadata and project information. So basically, thanks to this integration, we no longer have to generate reports based exclusively on a single model, but we can actually create reports based on more complex information, even coming from multiple models on the project at the same time. So now let's look at an example. You'll see in the video, we have a model which has two versions. And with uh, BIM 360 and the Diff tool uh, extension for Forge, we can see the differences in the models. Now, what we want is to be able to do that inside of a Power BI report. So we created a specific template that manages exactly this. 
So basically, the user can go in, uh, check out the differences on BIM 360, and then download the specific template that has been made for this use case. Having access to this information for our business intelligence, linked to other external data sources, it really opens the door to an infinite number of analysis uh, that can be made, and we're really only limited by our imagination. All of this in an automated fashion, combined with the use of templates, also encourages uh, rapid report creation and a standardization of reporting within a company. So these are just some of the advantages of using VCAT for BIM 360. Uh, we're actually really excited um, about the doors it opens, and we're also very curious to see what our clients come up with. Uh, they're the real experts when it comes to um, business intelligence. And sometimes we're actually amazed at what they come up with when creating reports and dashboards.